In this video I'm going to show you how to make the really simple yet beautiful autumn tints quilt block. Now it's part of my mystery block of the month series if you don't know what that is I'll put a link down below and you can check it out. If you're new here my name's Stacey and I teach step-by-step -step tutorials in sewing and quilting especially for beginners but perfect for everyone. So let me show you how to make the autumn tints quilt block. So our cutting instructions to make our autumn tints block is really simple. You just need four different fabrics and I've got the chart here showing you what to cut the pieces at. So for these A pieces it's two pieces at six and a half inches by six and a half inches and then for all the rest of the pieces you need to cut them at three and a half inches by three and a half inches squared and then here it just tells you how many pieces. So two, four and two. So really nice and simple quick block to make this month. So now what we're going to do is just lay out our blocks so that they match our image here. So I'm going to take my A pieces and put one at the top left and one at the bottom right. And then I'm just going to match up my pieces so it matches the image. So my B pieces are going in the center there. My C pieces are on either side. And my F pieces. Now if you're using directional fabric just make sure it's all sitting how you'd like it to sit at this point before we sew our pieces together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew these two pieces together, these two pieces together. So I'm going to fold them on top of each other but I want to sew my seam along here. So all I'll do is fold that one on top and then I'll place my pin here so I know that's where I want to sew. And the same for this piece. And then I'll do exactly the same for this full patch block at the top. Fold that one down, pin those together where I want to sew. And for those two. Now let's sew them together. So with each of the four pinned pieces what I'm going to do is just take out that pin and make sure it's all lined up really nicely so we want it lined up on the side edge along the top and on this side edge and you could just sew this if you're comfortable with that or if you're a beginner sewer you might just like to pop in a few pins pins definitely help with accuracy and are recommended for beginner sewers and then what I'm going to do is just start at the very edge there and I'm not going to worry about a back stitch and I'm going to stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance and I've got my quarter inch foot on use whatever guide you need to use to get your quarter inch seam allowance I'm stitching at stitch length 2 and I'm using my Cairo quilt thread which was kindly given to me by Juki Junkies to try out so just sewing along that edge there removing the pins as I come to them Oop. remember they it's actually fine to sew over them if you've put them in that way and then I'll just take my next set and do exactly the same just make sure those seams are all lined up nicely you can flip it over to the back to check if you'd like using pins if you'd like to you can or you could skip this step if you're a confident sewer and just carrying on until I've sewn all four sets together cutting my thread and then I'm just going to snip the thread that's holding the pieces together being careful not to cut my fabric now let's press now what we're going to do is set those stitches and like the name suggests it sets the stitches into the fabric and makes them stronger plus it helps our block lay flatter then what I'm going to do is open it up and we want to press the seams towards our C fabric on all four pieces so I'm just opening it up finger pressing we don't want any creases in here where our seam is so finger pressing and pressing and then I'll repeat that for all four pieces So now I'm just going to pop my pieces back down so they match our diagram again. I've got my B pieces in the center 
and my F pieces in the outer corners there. And then when I'm happy that they're all sitting correctly and matching my diagram, I'm just going to sew along this seam. So I'll face this one right sides together and pick it up here and we want to sew it along here. But what I'll do is I'll nest my seams. So when we're nesting our seams, we're finding our seams and remember one's folded over and going that way, one's folded over and going this way. We push them up against each other or butt them up against each other until they can't go any further and they kind of lock in place. We also want to make sure all these edges are lined up nicely and when we're happy, we can pop a pin in to hold it in place. And I've come in on one side and come across on the other and that's holding it in place really nicely. And then what I will do is just pop a pin in the top edge here and at the bottom, lining up all the edges. And then I'll do exactly the same for these two. So folding it in half, picking it up where I want to sew, nesting that seam and pinning. So now just sewing along that edge like before with our quarter inch seam allowance starting at the very beginning and not worrying about a back stitch. And when I come up to those seams, make sure they are sitting the way that they're pressed. I could feel that this one underneath was kind of pushing forward so I just stopped to check it but it does look okay. We want them sewn down how they're pressed so that our block sits really nice and flat. Okay, cutting our thread and then trimming that thread that's holding them together and pressing again. So for both of our pieces, just setting our stitches, opening it up, finger pressing and it doesn't matter which way our seams go. And repeating this for both pieces. So just placing our blocks down again so that it matches the diagram. And then all we're going to do is sew these two pieces together. So I'll just pop that one on top and put a pin in there loosely. I'm going to fix it up when I get to the sewing machine and the same here. We want to sew it along the seam. So facing it right sides together, picking it up and just popping a pin in there so I know it's along this edge I want to sew. So all I'm going to do is just remove that pin and line up those edges so they're all lined up nicely on all three sides. I will just pop a pin in so it's going to hold it in place. And so just like we have. both pieces just setting the stitches and then opening it up and we're going to press the seams towards our larger piece or our A fabric. Finger pressing so we don't have any creases in there and then pressing. So I've placed them down one last time making sure I'm matching my diagram. Then I'm just going to face them right sides together and sew along this seam here. So picking it up in the center and finding the seam to be nested and just nesting that seam. Remembering I can just open it up gently and just check it is creating a nice straight line. And then when I'm happy popping a pin in. Coming to the very edge here, lining up the edges and along the top and pinning and coming to the end here. If you'd like to, you could pop in another pin here and here. I'm not going to worry about that today. And now I'm just going to sew along the seam just as we have been. So setting those stitches 
and then pressing it it doesn't matter at this point which way the seam is going so I'm just going to finger press it we don't want any creases in here and then we have our finished block now if you're not happy with how your centers all lined up maybe it's a bit off then decide can I live with it or is it really bothering me now remember there are no quilting police here it's just what you're personally happy with but if you think mm, I could have done better then do just take the time to unpick it and sew it again so you are happy with it. So there we have the Autumn Tints quilt block. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. Now, if you're not getting that perfect 12 and a half inch squared block that you need, just work on your scant quarter inch seam allowance. And that's when your quarter inch seam allowance is just a few threads in from that quarter inch seam. If you like this video, you might like to check out last month's mystery block where we did the log cabin block. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.